Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play The Sims 3 Ambitions in Late Night what will be the last set of updates for this current LP. Now uh, last time we left off Mikey Jones here leveled up to the top of his career. He leveled up to superstar actor which put him as a five star celebrity and we didn't get the lifetime wish, which said be worth at least 100,000 simoleons. If we look at Junzu, we can see the household is worth 149,000. So we've, the household is worth more than 100,000. But then uh, Ray Peter Carl sent me a message saying that it's not the actual household funds that needs to be above 100,000, but it needs to be the bank account that has to be over 100,000. So without further ado... <laughs> We're going to sell some things just to get this to 100,000. Now, I've already sold, you'll notice, a couple of bits and bats. Now, I haven't, so I didn't actually sell these specifically to get to 100,000, but I sold these so I can put a dance floor in the room because Jamie, Jamie, I'm at it, I'm at it again. <laughs> Jun is about to age up. She has zero days left, so we're going to be throwing her a birthday party to close out this LP. I thought it would be a nice way to end. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to sell some things to first of all see if this is the case and see if we can get Mikey his lifetime wish whilst he sleeps soundly in bed. So what can we sell that we're not going to miss? Uh, a couple of chairs. <laughs> I think this scrap, yeah, this scrap bench can go. To be perfectly frank with you. John has had a bit of a tinker, played with it. Uh, we could always buy another one. We're not exactly poor. So here we go. Goodbye workbench. Oops, still not enough. What else can we sell? It's like moving houses here, only it's not quite. Well, we have an easel. So let's sell this. But I mean, oh, and <laughs> eight simoleons short. Let's sell this. Okay, now while I'm here, uh, I'm going to move this to about there. Where's the tables? There we go, put the kick on there. Bar's still ready. Uh, let's see if it works. Is Mikey Jones about to accomplish his lifetime wish? As we have John do her morning chores. <laughs> Mikey, congratulations! Oh, Maya's crying. Be crying for Maya. Dad has achieved his lifetime wish. Be happy for him. <laughs> Ninety-three thousand lifetime reward points. Um, I'm going to save these until we get the next LP up and running. Because, as I say, it will be generations and pets, and therefore, with those two new games, will be some new lifetime rewards. So, if I save these lifetime rewards for next time, we might be able to get some of the new rewards and experience their benefits. So we'll keep these points until next time. But congratulations, Mikey Jones, just like your father, you've accomplished your lifetime goal. You're a five-star celebrity, movie star supreme, and you're a uh, made of money. How very marvellous. <laughs> right, so, without further ado, that's one thing down. On with the LP. Oh. Maya, what are you crying for? I, she's, I think she's pooped panties again. Yeah, she's pooped panties. Uncle Johnny is failed miserably. He was supposed to teach you to go potty. He's not doing a very good job of it. Oh. Mum's coming. She's just cleaning herself before she cleans you. Priorities. <laughs> and she's going to a horrible horrible dress because she's supposed to be at work today but it's her birthday so she's going to skive so change out of those god awful clothes and to your everyday attire just a quick switch there you go like wonder woman 
Foof, foof, and you're there. Wasn't it be so great if it was actually that simple? Anyway, change dirty diaper. Have a toss in there. Are we tickling? And then she can go to sleep. Because we have got a busy day and we need her to rest so she can uh, enjoy the festivities later. Come on, little Maya. Oh, no. Oh, what can I look? Evil eye. She gave her the evil eye there. And I have to say, one good positive from installing the patch, despite the fact that it's uh, created a lot of glitches due to the... F what's she doing now? Oh, she's actually hungry. Oh dear. I'm going to have to feed her as well. Feed on the floor with a bottle, I think. Just quickest and easiest. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it's uh, when I saw the patch. Although there was a few glitches, uh, it's cured the uh, the slowdown problem big time. Okay, right. It's better give her a bottle. She needs to needs to eat or drink, as the case will will be. Drink the milk. What is it? Milk blitzed cereal. I don't know what she's put in there. Right, Jamie, Jamie. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow. You'd think I'd learn by now. John, I'm going to force you to clean up. You're not a clean person, you're a slob, but I'm forcing you to clean up and then you will eat leftover s s apple pancakes. They may be unhealthy, but it's your birthday. You can eat what you want, that's fine. The fish. Since you're feeding the whole house, you might as well feed these as well. Feeding frenzy. <laughs> or maybe they will be fine. Mikey and Johnny had late nights, so they're sleeping. They're sleeping in today. Well, now what's the problem? What the hell? You've got. You've eaten. We've tossed you in the air. We've changed your diaper. Get lost. I'm not going into work today. Maya, Maya, what is your problem? Get some toys and play. That's what you need to do. Whilst mummy feeds her face. Literally, shoveling it in there. That's it, that's it, John, you gobbly gobbly. Okay. Right, we pause it briefly. And we're going to pick tin to crib. Then you're going to clean up this mess. Not lick clean, we're going to force you a against your will for one day only to not be a slob. So clean up this puddle as well just to show us just for one day that you can do it. You can be that household mother that we all knew you could be. Oh, no. Could you hear that in the background? What the hell? Somebody is either having a very good time or an extremely bad time. I can't quite make my mind up. <laughs> quite the hellacious scream that was uh, coming from downstairs. Right. Ah, Johnny. I think you've slept enough, Johnny. Up we get. Why is Johnny getting up? Because he is. And, um... Johnny actually completed uh, his book. If I just go to his skill set here, uh, writing, uh, completed books eight, uh, does it, there you go, most profitable book, The Art of Love, he gets 1,298 simoleons a week, he's earned a total of 17,000 simoleons in writing, he's done pretty good for himself, so well done Johnny, his writing career is coming to a hiatus now because he's got writer's block. No more books for now. I think he may start painting once again. But for now, he's just chilling out. We'll have him go to the... No, we won't because Junjun Jun, Jun Jones is uh, in there. We'll uh, have him go and paint. I was going to have him go paint, but he's selected it himself. Off you go. Right, Joan is now lost for things to do, so uh, we'll let her crack on. No, no. No flirting today, Joan. 
No flirting today. Not on my watch. <laughs> bueno. Oh my god. <laughs> All the phones are now bleepy bleep. Pick no, no flirting with the robot, John. Answer your phone. Mikey? No thanks. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy head. Wake yourself up. It's time to get up. And eat some leftover pancakes. John? No, don't yell at the robot. One minute she wants to compliment his appearance, next minute she wants to chat him up, and then now she wants to scream at him. She can't make up her mind. Go and watch TV and leave people alone. Good grief. Can't leave her alone for a moment. Right, Johnny, continue your painting. Uh, medium painting. See what you can do. Maya, go to sleep, will you? You little horror. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Mikey, how the... Lovely. I wish I was so chirpy in the morning. What's this? <laughs> Some kind of crap by the looks of it. This is a bit of an awkward situation. I would like mm. it to have some decent energy. Mm. Oh, 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 she picking nose. Nope, she's dropping off. She's dropping off. Oh, there we go. Sleepy head. And there she goes. Little Maya sleeping away. Peaceful as can be. With Mr. Schmuggle Smul Schmuggle what something bear. <laughs> Bit of a tongue twister. Okay, Mikey, let's go and join Joan. Nipsy far off. It's her birthday, you're gonna spend the morning just chilling out, watching the telly. No need to rush and hurry about, because you've got the day off. Ah, uh, Ziga Blunkle. I'm not cuddle on the sofa. Oh. There we go. Uh. <laughs> shake, Shanorky. shake, Zarbosa. You know, like a, like a, a couple that's not kind of strange, like a normal couple. Zex, Nepwa. Zig, Falag. There we go. Look at that. So Zabji sweet. Zabji Paso Weeb. Yog. Who would have thought it, eh? Who would have thought they would have made a normal couple? Happy as Larry. As the credits roll. How, how, how appropriate. Lart. Zab's a sassy wa. Haba. Darba Napso Johnny. Painting away. Look at this. He's painting an alien. Oh, it's not just a tree. Not like an alien from a distance, but it's uh, some kind of some kind of greenery. Hey, Mr. Five, how's it going? Johnny Five himself is a four-star celebrity. He's not far off level five, He's, and I haven't even been trying with him. This has all been natural. It's quite amusing how I was trying to get Mikey up to level five, and only just got there, and haven't really been bothered with Johnny, and he's automatically almost got there. It's uh, Tends to be how certain things work out, I suppose. Okay, let's change the channel. Oops, it is. Vermalu. Oh, you can't change the channel. It seems. Maybe because I'm not watching it. They're just. Zabs uh, Assassin. Wah. Dreamy eyed, sat in each other's arms, talking about life. Maybe she's reminiscing about her life as a, an adult. Sensing old age is just round the corner. She's reminiscing about what she's done with her life. What has she done with her life? She's married a celebrity. I suppose that's a bonus. She's basically living in the lap of luxury. Well, not officially, but hey, 149,000 simoleons. That's a lap of luxury to me. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. She's a part-time stylist. I say part-time. Supposed to be full-time, but she's never there. <laughs> she goes where she feels like, so that's a, you know, almost like a hobby more than a job. Uh, yeah, so she's had a decent life. She's a moody cow at times. And hell, she flirts like crazy. 
but that's her quirks, I suppose. That is how she is. And now the time is right for us, More probably, to crack on with the next part, where... Oh, it's been a long time coming. It's been requested more than once. Um. The whole family, Maya included, are going to pop down to the graveyard to pay their respects one last time for this LP to Evan and James Graves. So I'll see you then.